How the hell? So you want to know how to use an instant replay and OBS whilst you're streaming live? All right, let's go. Okay, first up, you want to download this piece of software to plug in for OBS. So you just click the download button, click the Windows installer, extract it, run it. If you got version 27 or earlier, come here, click that download button there. Okay, cool. Now we've got that installed. We're just going to make a folder, make this wherever you want. This is going to be where our replays get saved. We want replays. Now, moving on, we're going to go to OBS itself and set up some things in there. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new scene and we're going to call this replays. This is where our replays are going to be. Now, we're going to go back to our main scene where we're going to have the replay going on, which is where we're going to be your camera and all that display capture. So in here, we're going to go to the sources, click plus, and we're going to add new scene. I'm going to add this replay one we just made over here. We're going to select that. I'm going to put it below my alerts as well, so it's just there. Now we're going to go into settings and set up a few things. So we're just going to go settings. I'm going to, go to output replay buffer. We're going to enable it, set the duration that you want it to be. And we're going to recordings, set up your recording settings, your bitrate, your quality to what you desire. Then your recording path, we're going to set that to the replay folder we just made, which for me is on my desktop. So we're just going to select that. Now we're going to click apply. You see a button pop up down there. Awesome. Before we go any further, we're going to go to general. I'm going to select this option. So basically that option, whenever you stream, your replay buffer will automatically start for you. Groovy. So let's click apply. Let's click OK. Now we're just going to start the replay buffer and we're just going to save this manually. And then we will get to how you can do it with a stroke of a button and how it will replace the previous video without you having to go in and do it all manually, you just press the button and it's all done for you. So we've let that replay buffer run for a few seconds. So now I'm just going to click this button. It'll save it. I'm going to stop. And now we're going to go into our replay scene. I'm going to add a media source. And we'll call this replay. Click OK. Browse file. I'm going to go to where our folder is. And we're going to get that. It's called replay with timestamp. We're going to open it up. We're going to loop it. I'm going to click OK. So there it is. It's a bit bigger because I record at 2K, so don't worry about that. So there it is. Now on here, you could also add a fancy box or a little animation saying live replay, instant replay, something like that. Now, next up, we're going to go to tools. I'm going to go to scripts. And here we're going to click the plus icon. I'm going to select the instant replay. This is that plugin we got from that website earlier. So now we've got that, we're going to click open. We're going to go to media source. I'm going to select the source we just made there. Just go replay. So we're going to select that. Close out of that now. Moving on, we're going to go back into the settings now to set up our hotkeys and then we're nearly done. So settings, hotkeys. Now we're just going to search replay. We're going to find this one called instant replay. Now you could set this to whatever, whatever you've got a keyboard, you've got hotkeys, you've got buttons in your mouse, you've got stream deck, whatever you desire. I, for instance, I'm just going to put up my keyboard as number five. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to delete that there from the filter. I'm going to scroll down now until I find my main scene, which for me is YouTube DS. So we're going to scroll down. Here it is. We're going to find now hide and show the name of the scene, which we made, which again is replays. So, for this, I'm going to set a key to six and a key here to seven. So now I can show and hide the replay on my main scene whenever I want. So now that they're all set up, we're going to click apply. We're going to click OK. Cool. Let's go to our main scene. Now, if I press number six, you'll see it pop up here. I know it's kind of hard to see against this background, but it is there. I can even move that there, make it a bit smaller. So there you can see it. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to press Start replay buffer. I'm going to go on a, a different source so it, you're not seeing all the same thing. It's not going to be much. I'll press that button. Then I'll press the hotkey I made number five. What that will do is that will save the new replay and replace the replay we've got there. Then I'll press number six to show it on my stream. And then I'll press number seven to hide it. Okay. So let's hide it with number seven. I'm going to start the replay buffer. I'm just going to go to a different scene. I'll bring up this window. Bring up this here. Add hell. Let this run for a few seconds. I'll, I'll waffle on for a talking about waffling on and then what we're gonna do from there we're gonna bring we're gonna bring this back now then we're gonna press five which will save it as you see save then when i press six you'll see the replay pop up right there all right i made myself go full screen for the camera and waffling on okay cool and now if i press five again it'll save it and replace that video so i'll press five you'll see it pop up so it's saved and boom, it just replaced the replay up there. There you go. Easy as that, as simple as that. Hope you enjoyed the video. You can you can make it a bit more fancy. You can tidy it up. You know, 
all option stuff. I was just quick video. How you do it? Ain't putting no animations, but no, nope, that's all for you. You want to make it spicy? You make it spicy. This was just how to do it as quick as possible. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time. Peace.